All right, we got a chance to talk to Mike Vitelli. He's the executive VP over at Best Buy. Why do you care? A couple of reasons. One, they're the last place standing to go to buy consumer electronics. Two, he controls what goes into Magnolia. And three, they have a huge impact on the industry. Mike, what's the biggest challenge you see for consumer adoption on Blu-ray? What we're seeing is when consumers find out about Blu-ray and uh, how wonderful the HD technology is, they've actually got to make a decision of where they're gonna watch the film. Because right now, Blu-ray fundamentally is, is home-locked. You can, you can watch it on your home theater. It's a terrific, wonderful experience. That, right. That's our, our message that we delivered today was we need a standardized, affordable, portable solution. And I think with that, Blu-ray can actually take off in, into the inflection point that we saw in VHS and DVD uh, years ago. So after portability, you said uh, consumer confusion. People are back and forth, do I need DVD, do I need HD? How do you continue to, to sort of raise awareness or drive Blu-ray? And we, we asked for that too. We're ready to do that. The industry's got to do it collectively. Mm -hmm. uh, so we, we have Blu-ray in our, our insert every week. 50 million uh, copies go out, and it's in there in some way, shape, or form. But there needs to be television. There needs to be public relations and other things like we're doing now that are reaching the masses. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, I get the sense that the industry is ready to do that. Now you said though, Blu-ray, I mean there's been a lot of doom and gloom around Blu-ray sales lately. People talk a lot about streaming online. You know, online streaming seems to be in a minor subset of households at this point. You said Blu-ray disc or Blu-ray disc player sales were up 112% year over year? Yeah, it was a relatively you know, modest uh, starting point, sure. a couple of million units last year after the format war was over. But yeah, it's, it's, it's running at a more than 100% growth versus last year. It's one of the hottest categories in our store. So the opportunity is there. It is the format, when you come to buy a DVD player today, it is the format of choice. It's backwards compatible, it'll play DVD, it'll play Blu-ray, and a lot of them have Ethernet connection that lets you go out and get free and paid content that way. So it's, it's a pretty pretty all-around device. You said around 10 million Blu-ray players at the end of 2009, 18 million at the end of 2010. How's that going to impact availability of discs and prices at that point? It's like everything else. When you have a huge installed base, it helps. Right. Uh, Everything, pretty much everything is released, new releases will all come out on Blu-ray. When there's that kind of installed base where you have 20, 30 million, they'll start releasing catalog that way. And then obviously with those kind of volumes, it'll, it'll help prices come down. Yeah. You mentioned, uh, an announcement went out this morning, you didn't mention it in your, you, you actually talked in your, in your speech this morning about the plethora of digital delivery options. And now Best Buy is partnering with Cinema Now. Is that going to be beyond Insignia or where is that going to show up? It, it'll, it, we believe as we get this, uh, get our plans put together, it'll show as many places as we can have it. We want to have a digital solution for our customer base. We have a physical solution, we want a digital solution. Cinema now gives us the technology to do that without us trying to build it ourselves. One last question before we go. Uh, the Magnolia Centers are an amazing place to experience home theater because most of the big box stores that are left is just a rack of televisions on a shelf. Are you going to be pushing those into all of the Best Buy locations or is that still Probably pretty Probably not. There's, there's, uh, there's over 400 of them mm -hmm. uh, and they're they're positioned where markets will spend the money that's presented in that environment. If, if markets change, and we do this all the time with our stores, if a market changes and the demographics of a market change, certainly we can do that. But you want to put, you want to place those stores, and we think we did, right. in markets where the products that are there are accessible to those customers. Any last messages for people out there looking to buy Blu-ray this year? This is this, this is the best time in the world to be a consumer. Awesome. Whether you're buying a car, or a house, or consumer electronics, it's a great time to buy if you're in the market. So go spend this Christmas. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Thank you so much, Take Mike. Care. Good.